Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life of the Mundane. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing. I got some more curriculum. I'm excited to open it up and show you guys what I got. This box is from Apologia, so I can't wait to show you guys what we're going to be doing for science next year and give you a little peek into the books. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life of the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. All right, so I went ahead and just opened it up so you guys don't have to hear me doing all of that. Let's take out the plastic. There's a decent amount of bubble wrap in here. We're doing chemistry and physics. So this is our teacher's book. I am so excited to dive into that. Let's take a quick peek inside. Okay, I'll be doing a more in-depth review of this curriculum after we use it, obviously. This is the first time I'm really getting to look inside, but I thought I'd take you guys with me as I take a quick peek inside. So we've got chemistry and physics matter, moving matter. So we're talking about movement. Um, we've got building blocks of creation. We're talking about different atoms and electric electrons, things like that. Compound chemistry, talking about crystals, um, putty plastics and pencil erasers. Let's see. Multitude of mixtures, uh, mechanics in motion, dynamics of motion, work in the world, um, sound of energy, light of the world. So talking about the different kinds of light, the spectrums of color, thermal energy, that'll be fun. Um, electrifying our world. So talking about electron electricity, uh, static electricity, things like that. Uh, mysterious magnetism. So talking about magnets and simple machines. One of the reasons I chose this one for this year is because it is supposed to be super hands-on. Lots of fun experiments, um, even more than Apologia normally has. And so I'm really, really excited to give that a try. I think the kids will be really excited to get their hands on some of that stuff. And they're all supposed to be pretty simple experiments with things you already have in your home. So lots of every one of these try this boxes are opportunities to do an experiment. Some are more involved than others, um, but they're all ways that you can practice the lesson being taught. So as you can see, it is chocked full with opportunities for that. And then they have like their official experiments here. My kids are going to love making a lava lamp. That they're so gonna love that. Let's skip to a little bit later in the book. Um, and we're going to be looking at distant dynamics and acceleration action, free falling. This is just gonna be really fun and something really different than what we've been doing. I love how there's always um, prompts in here about scripture and about God. Um, that's just one of the great things about Apologia. Oh my goodness paper airplane design. They're going to be all over this, guys. I can't wait to jump into this with them. Next up is our MP3 CD. Now this is not a CD, right? It's a CD of an MP3. <laughs> it's really important to note that because if you just have a CD player, it's not gonna play, but you can throw it onto your computer and play it. Or what we like to do is we like to download it onto our kids' MP3 players. This is great when you don't have a chance to read the lesson and you want to be able to listen to it. Or a lot of times what we'll do is I will read the lesson to the kids and then I'll just have them listen to it again because they grasp different things from it when I read it versus when the when they hear it on the mp3. Next up is the student notebooks. We have got the Exploring Creation with Chemistry student notebook and we've got the junior notebook. Now last year, this past year, we actually got student books for every single kid. Um, and I found that to be a little overwhelming. I love the student books. Um, I'm, I'm falling in love with them, right? Initially, I wasn't sure, but I'm falling in love with them. But I find them overwhelming when I've got four kids doing completely different projects and all the different things. And so I decided to take a note from my friend Ryan 
over at Mama on a Mission. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, you should totally do that. She actually uses them sort of as a group project. I have some kids who struggle with dyslexia and um, who struggle with writing. So having a notebook full of opportunities for them to write is a little overwhelming to them, but we're gonna take it as a group subject. So my girls are going to share the junior notebook and my boys are going to share the regular notebook and we are going to dive into some of these things as a group. So when we have crossword puzzles or when there are maybe um, different projects like that, they're just gonna pair up and do those together, which I think will work really well with their strengths. And then it will also um, allow for us to explore and experience all the different hands-on craft things without having so many of them, which is the kind of the overwhelm factor for me. So we're gonna give it a try this year, see how that goes, and I'll let you guys know. But let's take a quick peek inside of what these specifically have to offer for this year. Okay, and now that brings us to our exploring creation, our journal notebooks. So these, if you guys have not seen them before, are really great resources if you want additional activities. They are not required, they're not mandatory. All you need is the student textbook. I love the fact though that they have a daily schedule in the beginning of it that really helps you break down when do you read certain things in the actual teacher's book? When do you do certain pages in the student book? Because it can be a little overwhelming to figure all that out. So I love the fact they've kind of just made it easy for you. They have ways that you can um, record facts that you've learned. They have uh, different places where you can record from different experiments that you've done, which is awesome. But they also have things like crossword puzzles. This is in the regular student notebook and different memory work pieces or uh, copy work pieces, excuse me, of different Bible verses that you can do. You'll see they also have these little blank pages that says paste your forces of motion pocket onto this page. So when you go to the back, you'll see they have these fun little pocket crafts. If you're into lap booking, it's kind of that concept within the notebook. Um, and so they'll have these fun colored activities in the back that they will do. Here's a light fan pocket and they'll give you instructions on how to do it. You'll cut it out. You'll have the different colors behind it, it looks like. And then behind that, you'll have different facts about the different types of colors. And that's this is one of the reasons I wanted to narrow it down to two books instead of four because that just gets to be a lot with um, kiddos that struggle with writing and reading. Um, so by pairing them up together and putting a stronger writer and reader with one that struggles with it a little bit more, it'll allow it to be more fun and less um, cumbersome, I think, but still having those hands-on aspects to it. Now for the junior notebook, it includes, it's a little bit thicker because it includes some extras that the, the um, older student one does not have. So their crossword puzzles are smaller, a lot less complicated. You have uh, copy work, but now you have lined pages instead of just having the blanks there. Um, they also still have that space for the flat books that'll be in the back. They still have um, places to copy down how did your experiment go, things like that. But again, you're going to have that center line there instead of just having a wide open gap. They also include coloring pages though. That's like a big aspect of um, of this curriculum or of the junior notebook is the fact that they have coloring pages that go along with the different um, concepts. And I love the fact that they always include little Bible verses at the bottom of those. And then in the back, you're going to have similar type projects. I don't think they're all the same. I haven't obviously taken tons of time to look, but obviously there are some that are similar. Um, for the most part, they're going to be the same, I believe. There may be some slight variants, but you're going to have in general the same kinds of projects here. And um, I'm just so excited about doing this as a group. I really think we're gonna be more likely to get to more of these hands-on projects because the uh, classroom management aspect of it will be a lot easier by doing it in pairs. This year, we've been using the astronomy from Apologia. And if you guys wanna check out a video of what that looks like, if maybe that's one you're considering, be sure to check out the video over here as well. Thank you guys for joining me. Be sure to stick around and subscribe if you guys haven't done so yet, because coming up here in April, guys, we are going to be revealing all of our homeschool curriculum. So excited to share with you guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.